Hey, everybody. Welcome to You Jokes. You are in the right spot if you're looking for the You Jokes. I'm Jonathan Mangum. I'm happy you're here. This is our 29th episode of the show. 29. Yes, clap for that is good. Uh, we're about to hit our dirty 30s soon, which means it's time that we have to start seriously thinking about a career and family. You want to help us do that? Uh, follow, like, uh, share, if you don't mind, on the little corner button over there. If you're watching on YouTube, if you could subscribe and like that, it'd help us too. Help us all to mature so we can finally move out of mom's house. That's what we all want. Uh, I see people here. I see Karen Frazier. I see Olga. Uh, hi from Michigan, Debbie Bridges says. Chifo Sanchez is back. Angela Rosenender, sweet dude. Carol Wild, hey, Carol. Uh, Jess, Jess, you're 29 and feeling fine. Jess, Jess is a funny person. He has won several of the challenges here in the audience part. I see uh, John Petone Jr. Aloha, everyone. It's going to be a tough act to out with the legend of Colin Mockery. I don't know, because uh, if anyone can be Colin, it's our other guest tonight. Uh, hi from DC, Michael Mazzetti. Hello, Paul N. What is up? Karen Talbot, hey. Uh, Barry Walls, I named my sourdough starter after Colin Mockery. Okay, Barry. Uh, and then there's another Canadian. Oh, tonight's show is actually so Canadian. Both of our guests are Canadian. Our producer, Josh, is Canadian. I am the only non-Canadian. Todd Frost says, hello. Um, Carolyn Norman, hey, Jonathan, how about a shout out? It's my birthday. Happy birthday to Carolyn Norman. Happy birthday to you, Carolyn. That was a... Uh, uh, truncated version of the uncopyrighted birthday song. Cassie P says, yay, Canada. Paul M, one badly one badly timed ball joke. There are no ball jokes yet, and maybe there won't be for once in a comedy show's life with Colin. Drifty Allison, go Canada. Martin Jones, it oozes maple syrup. I think you guys are ready. You're warmed up to go. If this is your first time watching the You Joke Show, let me tell you what it is, because it's a live comedy competition. Uh, we have two very funny people here tonight uh, competing for the best joke. And that is not all, because you can compete too. Mayhaps you have sat at home and thought, I have jokes, I could compete in these improv shows. Well, now you can, you type it in right there into the Facebook chat or the YouTube chat, type it in. Our producer, Josh, Josh will look through all those and pick out a good one to go up against the professionals. And then you, the audience watching, gets to vote on who you think had the best joke. That's just how much fun it is. I am excited to introduce you to our guest tonight. Please welcome, my favorite, Colin Mockery and Deborah McGrath. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Great. Good. You're, you're both really up. You're, you're you're in you're in Toronto and you're in yeah. different rooms of the house. Yes. Upstairs, downstairs. Not to <laughs> reflect our status. <laughs> it certainly does not. So. Uh, you know, we know Colin, and, and I perform with Colin on Who's Line and a bunch of different shows. But Deborah, Deborah is also a Second City performer. She's done all kinds of, of movies and all kinds of TV. You guys did had a series together like a, a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah remember? Remember? remember. <laughs> oh, we had uh, fun. It was so much fun. We yeah, had a good time. Yeah. Have you ever by the system? <laughs> have you ever competed against each other in a comedy program? Uh, just in the kitchen. Yeah. Ooh. On a nightly basis. Oh. <laughs> I pour the wine, light the candles. He does everything else. Oh. What was, <laughs> what was tonight's meal, Colin? Oh. Tonight's meal was a oh. pasta with uh, pesto uh, chicken, um, red peppers, and asparagus. Wow. Yeah. And you have searched the world for the perfect gluten-free pasta because, sadly, I am of that ilk. Oh no! I found it. <laughs> uh, Kali Macular says, "Oh, such a cute couple. You guys, Thank you are. You. You've been married for like twenty-five. How long have you married? Thirty, almost thirty-two years. Thirty-two years. Well, wow. the, the the common question is, you know, what, what is your what is your secret to to staying married, and 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 what is yours? Well, around year twenty, we agreed we didn't want to start over." So uh, we really worked hard. <laughs> it's going well. No, it's all the corny things, communication, uh, keeping it lovely and loving and keeping it fresh. Like the pesto. Am I right, Deb? Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're both here. And I hope that you, uh, there will be a winner tonight. And I hope that you, I hope that the relationship can survive 
I hope it's you, honey. I hope it's you, honey. I got 20 bucks on you. So I'm throwing it. Okay. <laughs> Let's start it off, guys. Let's play some you jokes. First All game right. is called Name the Movie. Name the Movie. I will show you a picture uh, from a movie. It's not really from a movie, but you tell me what movie you think it's from. And here we go. Pam, what movie do you think this is? If you have a joke now and you're watching, type it in live in the Facebook chat or the YouTube chat. What movie do you think this is from? This actually, to me, this is what it looks like when I used to live in Central Florida. This is like every day at 6 p.m. You take this every day. Uh, what is the name of the movie? Type it in now. Josh will start looking through them. And we're going to start off with our funny people. We'll start off first with Colin. Colin, yes. what is the name of this movie? This is a scene uh, from a new movie about a uh, British super spy who fights terrorists with her trusty umbrella, and it's called Good Brawly, Miss Molly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice. The sound effect is clapping, Colin. It's clapping. It like it. I don't care. I'll take anything. <laughs> uh, Deb, on to you. What is this movie called? Well, it's a very uh, intense, um, sexy kind of, um, uh, you know, spy flick called uh, Killer Storm. Raindrops keep falling till you're dead. Oh, yes. Raindrops keep falling till you're dead. That is a good one. Got a great uh, theme song. Say that again, Colin. It's got a great theme song. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't sing that. <laughs> I mean, uh, those are good answers. We're going to go to the audience now. Josh, pull out a good one. The name of this movie is from Katie Meyer, Stabbing in the Rain. They're stabbing in the rain. That's a good one. Wow, that was starting off strong. It's time for you to vote, audience. Who do you think had the best joke? If you think it's Colin, type in C. If you think it was Deb, type in, type in D. And if you think it was the audience joke, type in A for audience. So is it C, is it D, or is it A? C, D, or A? Um, does it sound so confusing. I know it's not, but I feel it should go in alphabetical order. So I'm very confused. Because you went from C to D. Okay, well, also, if you think it's the audience, type in A. If you think it's Colin, type in C. And if you think it's Deb, type in her entire name. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Josh will do an eyeball because we can't officially count it up because that's too much math to going too fast. So, Josh, based on the eyeball account, who won that round? Deb wins! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> yes. Oh, the irony. I knew this was going to be a good match. Colin, you got you to gotta catch up, man. I can't lose. You know, even if I don't win the game, I still won in the game of love. Oh, <laughs> bam. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to move on with these lovebirds to our next game, a little game we call Caption This. Caption This. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture of uh, a creature, uh, and you tell me what you think is being said or caption it, as they say. What do you think? Caption This. There it is. That's not quite the delicious pesto dinner that was made uh, this evening, but it does look good. Although I, I hate to be that guy, but that should be white wine. If you're eating your own kind, you should always have white wine. Remember that from the Book of French Cooking. Type in your answer right now. Caption this in the Facebook or the YouTube chat. Fried chicken is so delicious, man. It is like oh, some of the best man. food. And so good. Do they have fried chicken in Canada? Yeah, we have all the kinds of foods you have. <laughs> and more. Thanksgiving. Yeah. I don't know. You put the weird mayonnaise on your French fries and your, your donut. It's called aioli, and I believe you also have it down in your country. You learn something new every day. Let's start off this time with Deb. We started with Con last time. So, Deb, uh, caption this photo for me. Well, Jonathan, along your earlier theme on this, I captioned it, you are what you eat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literal and funny. Good job. Uh, Colin, caption this for me. I shall. 
<laughs> Things take a macabre turn at the Foghorn Leghorn funeral. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, Foghorn Leghorn and yeah. death in the same joke, which makes it perfect. Uh, good job, Colin. <laughs> Go into the audience now. Um, maybe they'll have a reference from 1944. Let's see. Hey, Foghorn, he's still got something. Uh, Darren D, Big Bird's brother's cousin's twin from the South. Big Bird's brother's cousin's twin from the South. Yeah. Those are good jokes. Vote now. Was it, and we'll do this so that Colin understands, A, the audience <laughs> joke, C, Colin, or D, Deb. Vote now. Um, while they're voting, do you remember, Colin, when we did shows with Drew Carey? He would yeah. always do a foghorn leghorn joke, and it never worked once. <laughs> No, it always um, it always amazed me because I thought Foghorn had a bigger fan base than that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and he'd do the same thing every time. He'd have that impression, that one Foghorn. Hey, hey, I say, I say, I can't even do it. This is for you, Drew. That was for you. <laughs> uh, let's see, Josh, from the eyeball vote, who won that round? <gasps> Colin, you won the round. Oh, there are, there's enough Foghorn, Ellen Cleghorn fans out there for you to still win. Oh, okay. An Ellen Cleghorn reference is also good. <laughs> oh, let's move on to our next game. It is tied. It's tied, you guys. Colin has one. Deb has one. So it's so far still peaceful in the Mockery House. Let's see. Next game is called Finish the Lyric. I'm going to show you a lyric uh, from a popular song, and you finish it for me. Uh, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with, uh, this is from The Gambler by Kenny Rogers, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with, although if, it, if a train was bound for nowhere, you'd end up somewhere and you should probably ask for your money back, but that's just my opinion. Uh, finish this lyric, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with. Um, we started with Deb last round, so Colin, you are up to bat, sir. On a train bound for nowhere, I met up with. On a train bound for nowhere, I met up with the conductor who said I really should have checked the ticket. <laughs> yes. That requires a bit of thinking, which makes it even, even sweeter. You know what? I like to do my comedy for the eggheads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, wasn't that funny? I'm sorry, I laughed a little. I choked a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Deb, uh, finish the lyric for me. On a train bound for nowhere, I met up with no one. We still took a selfie. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, social commentary and comedy all in one. <laughs> Go to the audience. Josh, what you got? From Harrison Fine, <laughs> on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with Foghorn Leghorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This must be an older demographic tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, that was a good one. A callback, as we say in the uh, improv community. Uh, vote now. A for audience, C for Colin, or D for Deb. A for audience, C for Colin, D for Deb. What do you guys? What do you guys been doing like lately for fun? Like, what what is your enjoyment? Uh, we're chilling and swimming and. Uh barbecuing and doing fun things like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. some um, uh, dance videos that she put on Instagram uh, at Devmographics. Uh, check that out. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, like instructional dance or like performance dance? Or no, what? I was doing Deb's Insto, Insta uh, ISO dance party. When we got locked down, I did a different dance every night. Um, and then I started to post dance numbers from the musical series that Colin and I did. Oh, and that's full epic dance numbers written by the Tony Award winning team of Lambert Morrison. And uh, it's on my um, YouTube, uh, you, YouTube. No, no, you don't, Instagram. No, but no, oh, yeah, YouTube. no, you're right. Yep, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, uh, her dance. Hey, Greer, she loves your dance videos. So tell us where, uh, 
is Colin still doing the jitterbug? Randy Bush wants to know. <laughs> it's a little slower than it used to be. <laughs> So Colin and I danced together. It was great. It was De fun. where exactly can we watch it now? Instagram oh, or my Instagram, and then the dance numbers from the series Colin and I did are on my YouTube channel. Is yep. it your channel? Hi, Colin. <laughs> Deborah McGrath. <laughs> so look up Deborah McGrath and watch those. Um, John, let's go back to that round and find out who won that round. Josh from the eyeball, who won that round? The audience. Oh. oh. Wow. Yes. It's this a tie. A, wow, this is a barn burner. This wow. This. Will you admit as Canadians that this is more exciting than hockey? No, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so fond of you, Jonathan. So it hurt to say that. Oh, I could tell. There was pain in your face. Oh, no, there was a pause of like maybe a second before we both jumped on it. <laughs> well, let's break this tiebreaker with a game we call Bumble Brag. Bumble Brag. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture of someone, and you tell me what you think their dating profile says. What does their dating profile say? And here we go. What is this dating profile? I, I have so many jokes to make here, but I know that anything I say will take away from potential jokes. So I am not going to say anything, but I will say, if you have a joke, you type it in right now into that Facebook or that YouTube chat. Or, uh, or Twitch, if you're watching on Twitch. Go ahead and type it in now. What would this guy's online dating profile say? Uh, we started off with, I think we started with Colin last time. So we'll start with you, Deb. What is this dating profile? I think his dating profile is recent widower with axe to grind. <laughs> yes. I like it. Colin. What do you think this uh, online uh, dating profile is? Uh, um, I will tell you, Jonathan, right now, using my word. Oh. And it is this. Always disappointed in love, hoping you are the one, unlike the one I just met who is like my bitch mother, also like Macklemore. <laughs> wow. There's some... There's some 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 anger some anger coming out of Mr. Bakri. I was trying to get a foghorn leghorn reference and I couldn't get it. <laughs> the audience seems to love it. Oh man, let's go to the audience here. Uh, Josh, pull one out for us. Pull one out for us. That's bad. Dangerous safety. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I am a minor. Oh. Don't tell anyone I am a minor. I like that. You guys. Go ahead and vote now. Was it A for audience, C for Colin, D for Deb? That's A for audience, C for Colin, D for Deb. It, aren't, aren't you both? I mean, I know I'm so happy that I did not have to live during times of, of dating online. Can you imagine? Oh, oh dear God. <laughs> no. Although we have oh. many friends who have um, met mates through um, online dating and are having a happy marriage, but I just... Yeah. I mean, I was bad in person. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Who was your story? This guy, this, my, my son, say hi, Chase. Come on, put your face in here. Yeah, he's he's okay. 16. That's he, that's all he has to look forward to. Didn't you, did you have a date with an online? Didn't you meet I someone? Did. Yeah, he, yeah. Did it go Wait, well? Did it go well? Uh, I seem to think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I seem to think so. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out what that means when the show's <laughs> over. Yes. <laughs> oh. Josh, who won that round of you jokes? Colin won oh, the round. I'm Josh. It was the macrame, I think, that won it. I think you're right. Uh, the bitch mother macrame, which you can buy a t-shirt, bitch mother macrame, right here at you jokes. Uh, it's yeah. Colin's in the lead. He has two. Deb, you have one. Audience, you have one. It's getting real, folks. This is a little thing that we call... Last show's best. Uh, what this is, is as follows. Not everyone watches this show live. A lot of people catch it later. We want you to still be able to type in your joke. So if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch later, please still type in your joke. We'll go back and read all of the jokes that were submitted. We'll pick out uh, the best one, and then we'll invite that person on to the next show to compete in the final round. So last week, we had a winner. Please welcome uh, to the chat room, Mr. Evan Ray. Evan. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Evan. Hello, hello. Where are you from, Evan? Poway, California, just north of uh, San Diego. 
How oh, nice. awesome. Well, thank you. you. Let me show you what you won for last week. You had a funny joke. The game was called Happy Hour, where you had to name the name of the cocktail, which was this. Here's the cocktail. And uh, you called it, um, let's go ahead and show them, the Sacrament Julep. Nice. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you get to play in the final round. And Evan, you were telling me that you have um, actually, you, you've met Colin before? Um, yeah, I've shook his hand, but I was up on stage. He's been down in the San Diego area a couple of yeah. times. And um, um, sound effects, I love doing them. And so uh, I teach third grade. So, hey, I'm doing that stuff all the time. So oh, I've hey. gone up and done Colin's sound effects one time, and I did Brad's one time, too. So, oh, yeah. sure. oh. So obviously we think you're pretty good to keep bringing you back. No, you're just like, who's that guy just going crazy raising his hand? <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm like, I'm like a little kid. I just want to be up there and, and enjoy it. Even if I'm like shaky, like crazy. So. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. That's what do. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's probably the same reason your kids, your third graders that you teach like you. I mean, with, with you need that kind of energy to keep the third graders looking at you. For I say I, I kill with the eight to nine year old demographic, but my wife is like, mm, not, don't bring that. Well, don't bring that. Horn, like horn. That seems to be popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. welcome to the show, Evan. We're going to let you play this final round of play. And this final game is called Nice Moves. I'm going to show you someone involved in a dance. They're going to be shaking their money maker, and you tell me what is the name of the dance. What is the name of this dance? And here it is, <laughs> right there. Oh, I love doggies. What is the name of this dance? I think we just missed the part where they've sniffed each other's butts and they moved on to this part. So, type in now to the YouTube or the Facebook chat what you think the name of this dance is. Type it in now. This will be our last game for today. Uh, and we'll start off now with Evan. Evan, what is the name of this dance? Well, first off, this is probably the reason why Tom Bergeron's not on, on you know, Dancing with the Stars anymore. So. <laughs> but um, so maybe you've seen like um, someone with a poorly behaved dog and they're trying to pass it off as a service dog. Well, this is Mary Reinhardt and her great Dane Sampson. And she took, she took him to Arthur Murray and they taught him how to do the service dog shuffle. And that way, if she wants to go to a play like Hamilton with their dog and they ask her what um, service does your dog provide, she can just say, here, hold my beer, dance with the dog. So. I love that. It was a full comedic monologue. I know. I, I could have a backstory. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Evan. Thanks. Moving up the line. Deb, what is the name of this dance? Well, I don't mean to be crass. That's not what I'm implying. I'm implying more of a romantic in an esoteric way. I think this dance is called Tango and Pooch. <laughs> tango and Pooch. I like it. Uh, Colin, your turn, sir. What is the name of this dance? 57 years ago. In a windswept field. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, the name of this dance is um, the Mutterina. Yeah, the Mutterina. I love it, the Mutterina. Uh, Josh, pull one out of the audience here. One from the audience, Barry Wallace, the Great Danes. Yeah. The Great Danes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow. We have four quality jokes right there. So we're going to have to type in our favorite, though. And, and ooh, Colin, you'll be so happy because it's going to be all near the beginning of the alphabet. So if you think the audience joke is right, type in A. If you think Colin's was best, type in C. If you think Deb's was best, type in D. If you think Evan's was best, type in E. Uh, do not type in B. That is between them all and will not work for any tally. At all. At all. Uh, while there, while you guys are voting, I just want to say um, thank you so much for watching the show, and thank you so much, Colin and, and Deborah and and Evan. You guys, it's a pleasure to have you all on the show. Thank Our you. next show is going to be on Friday, July twenty fourth at six p.m. Uh, Pacific, nine Eastern. Um, please, if you would, click the like button, click the like button, click the share button, click the subscribe. Just anything that has a button, please click it because it'll help the show and help us do more. Uh, all right. Here we go. We need to remember remind me to get a drum roll sound effect because that'll make this oh yeah really twice bad. better than hockey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Josh, 
Who won the final round of you jokes? Deborah wins! Oh, yes! Nicely done. That means it's uh, you guys tied, Colin and Deborah. You tied. Oh. There, will, there will be some more pesto tomorrow night. I'm happy to report. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Yay. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you, Evan, for Thank joining you. us. Honored to be here. Thank Thanks you, again, Evan. Evan. Uh, Thanks. Thanks. Look forward to the next sound effect scene. Absolutely. Come on down. We love to have you back down here. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Colin. A pleasure to see you Thank guys. You're so lovely and, and such a cute couple you are. I, I have to admit it. So uh, <laughs> thank you again and be oh, safe. Be safe, everyone. We'll see you next time. Yeah, be safe. Bye.